What's up guys, my name's Anthony and I'd like to welcome you back to Crypto Ride. Hopefully you checked out our link video last week or before that we had our Chainlink project overview. And if you're unfamiliar with the project as a whole, you definitely need to look at this one because of all the crypto projects, this is one of the ones that I believe will have the most success over the next couple of years. So we gave you the project review. Last week we went over why the price was falling and this week we're making an update video on the technical analysis and we'll continue to do that keep you guys updated with cryptocurrency news we're going to talk about bitcoin all eyes have been on bitcoin this month if it's your first time here i want to thank you for stopping by and ask you to subscribe to the channel share it on social media and give the video a like if you enjoy the content also i want to give big shout out to our new subscribers you guys are incredible it's been a lot of fun communicating with you and learning from each other all right let's get into it Last week when I made my video, I was talking a lot about this downward channel. I'm talking about how we were kind of stuck in here. Since that point, we have broken out. So this channel is gone. And what happened is now I've drawn a new trend line. And one thing I think you have to remember with technical analysis is it is definitely ever changing and evolving over time. So what I've done here is I've taken where we first had our breakout at the very end of April and we started seeing this uptrend, I've moved this. Now, in the past, like if I would have made this video last week, for the record, I would have shown this trend here and I would have said that we, we broke it and now we're in a downtrend. But now we're holding to this uptrend and I'll explain that a little bit just so you understand this. Um, in an uptrend, what happens is you put higher highs and higher lows. So, you know, this price here was a higher high at $1.44. Then it came down to this low, 87 cents. Then it rose to $1.91. And then it hit this low, $1.66. And you get the idea. And then that happened again. And then potentially right here again. So this is potentially a great sign. But I also want to point out that if you look, we're kind of nearing it. So this this uptrend is going to be at this point around 240 two dollars and 43 cents so we need to remain above that otherwise the price is going to fall and could turn bearish on us but for the moment all eyes are watching really the next couple days we're going to see if we can't continue rising with this trend now i've got a couple other lines here i want to talk about with you some potential support levels that we can see if the price does fall if you're like me and already own some link but you're just looking to add to your position and lower your average cost then you're waiting for the price to fall and kind of sort of rooting against it short term so you can get more at a lower price um, but of course as you guys know i'm bullish on link long term i do think this price is going up up and just really way up over the next couple years because these oracles, uh, and we're going to go over some of the news, they're just being used so often. It seems like Chainlink has partnerships coming out like every other day, every third day. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Last week, I talked about this $1.85 level of support, which you can see a lot of support over here. And then I talked about 163 and I even talked about a dollar 18. I think at this point, now that we're moving up, a dollar 18 is probably out of the question. I don't think we'll ever see that again. Of course, never say never in cryptocurrency, but I also want to talk about where it did fall to. So I made this video around here, okay? And I was talking about this price level. What happened is we fell right to here. It was $1.97. That was the low that it hit. And I want to talk about this because I didn't mention it in my video, but you should be aware of this. Even though this level here didn't have serious support in the past, like you see it touched it here and here, um... It was a psychological support level. So what's a psychological support level? Basically, these are levels that are like major, usually numerical figures. So like Bitcoin psychological level, or, you know, for the last couple of months is that 10,000 level or 11,000. When you, when you hit those type of big significant numbers, when you're adding a digit, or in this case, you know, you're talking about a new dollar amount and that type of thing. Um, now, so two has now been a support level. One, two, three times. So... If you're setting buy orders and you're like me and you're trying to wait and buy this low, I might suggest that you do that around the $2 price point. Could really work out well if it falls there. Again, there's no guarantee it's going to do that. Um, it's kind of indecisive at the moment. I just I want to also show you guys the RSI on the bottom here. This is the relative strength index. And you can see it's literally sitting on the 50% line. So it's neither overbought nor oversold. And it's been there really 
um, a lot of the time over the last, geez, look at this, this over the last month. So there's a lot of indecision in the chain link price right now. All right, and I just want to move over to Twitter and just show you the amount of news that's been coming out. So just today we found out that Chainlink is going to be working with Cortex, which is an artificial intelligence smart contract platform. Just three days ago, we found out they're going to be working with Honeycomb and this the CLC group, by the way, has been surging on coin market cap. I was looking at that yesterday. So that's interesting. Maybe it's rising because of their partnership with Oracle. And then on just as again, like a week ago, they announced that they're going to be partnering with Zillica, which is another smart contract platform and reputable cryptocurrency. So the news just keeps on coming. However, I want to address one other thing. We haven't heard anything about a Microsoft partnership. I've been looking into that. The price pump this weekend, the Link Marines were getting real excited about a potential Microsoft partnership. That is neither on or off the table. It's kind of in no man's land right now, as far as I know. I tried to do some research, but maybe you guys can comment in the comment section. Um, do you guys know anything about a Microsoft partnership with Chainlink? If you do, let us know down below. I also want to invite you guys to connect with me on Twitter. My handle is at CRAnthony3. I do post almost every single day and share news about all the different projects we're covering on here. So definitely check me out over there. Subscribe to the channel if you like this video. Uh, as always, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. Remember, also, I'm not a professional financial advisor, and I'm not providing financial advice in any way, shape, or form. And uh, it's been real. I'll see you guys in the next video.